Today I'll be making my best ever brownies and here is what you need. 180 gram of plain chocolate and 180 gram of unsalted butter. You can use salted butter if you like but I do prefer using that kind for this recipe. You will also need 140 gram light brown sugar, also 140 gram same amount of dark brown sugar, three large eggs, 80 grams of sifted plain flour, 40 grams of uh, sifted cocoa powder, and also 50 grams of white chocolate. First thing you do is you got your chocolate and butter in a same bowl, which is going to be melted on the hob. On the bamari. Now, bamari is a water bath that you melt your ingredient on. So it's basically it's just water in a, in a pan and just melt those two items together we move on to the mixing now very easy just add your both sugar into the mixing bowl crack your three eggs in it and just give it a nice whisk You don't, you don't have to do it for uh, 20 minutes, but about 5 minutes will do it. Just make sure everything is mixed all together. I reckon that should be sufficient. To that, I'm going to add my uh, butter and chocolate mixture, which has been uh, melted on the hob. So there goes the chocolate and the butter. mix start to get velvety and onto that goes the flour and the cocoa powder <coughs> and another whisk There we go, that looks absolutely perfect. Now in my tray that I'm gonna bake the, the brownies in, I chop the white chocolate. And the last thing to do, obviously, is to put that mixture sorry, into the dish. your spatula to make sure it's evenly there you go there go we have it the brownies who's gonna go into the oven for about 25 minutes temperature 190 degrees halfway through the cooking process just turn your dish in the oven and I will show you when to take it off of the oven so there it goes for 25 minutes. After about 25, 30 minutes, just take your brownie out of the oven and bring it to the cooling rack. As you can see, it start to crack and this is the way it should look. A bit velvety on the top, still a bit runny, but don't worry about it. We want it to make it a bit gooey and that's what we're looking for. So 20 minutes on the cooling rack and then we move it out of the paper on the cooling rack. And here's the brownie, 20 minutes after, ready to eat. Nice and gooey. So I'm gonna show you an idea of serving this wonderful dessert. 
kept a little square. Still nice and gooey, lovely. On the plate it goes. I've got some mascarpone here, but you can either use clotted cream, creme chantilly, or some whipped cream. A little dollop on the top. Some spoon sugar, just to make it uh, something special. There you go. And a little uh, cocoa powder dusting. That could impress any of your guests. So, et voila, my best ever brownies. For more recipe and for tips, please visit stepflechef.com and thank you for watching.